Hey guys, what's up? It's Zach with KT Outdoors, and I wanted to drop another quick one for you this morning and talk about the dreaded squash bug. So there, of course, is the outcome of way too many squash bugs. They got into this plant. You can see some of the little baby squash bugs down in there. And what this is, is I think it's called bacterium wilt is what happens when the squash bugs transmit a virus between themselves. And this plant over here actually started with it. You can see the dead down here. But then part of the plant was able to survive and it's come back and it's thriving. But this plant over here honestly looked like that before the squash bugs gave it a sickness. So. You need to stay on top of squash bugs, you need to kill the squash bugs, and you'll notice that most of these little guys are not moving. And if we pan over to this other plant that had loads of squash bugs on it, you will see that there are lots of similarly non-moving squash bugs got a pile of them down in here they're just they were all over this plant and as a result you know eggs eggs I bet if I pull this back yeah look at that eggs 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 like just problems every which way to Sunday here for this plant so what I did this morning which I should have done weeks ago, but I just was too busy and didn't get out here in time, was a really, really simple home remedy that will kill these squash bugs. And you notice that a lot of them are high up in the plant. And that's because they were running from a event that they felt they needed to escape from. And that event was caused by this just simple soap now I like to use something that is like biodegradable this one happens to be lavender and eucalyptus so it's gonna put a little bit of scent in there but that is the most important thing for me biodegradable I've used lots of different kinds of soaps over the years but that's always my deciding thing if it has a biodegradable cleaning ingredient then I feel like it's okay. Um, and so what happens is you just mix this with some water into some sort of a sprayer and you just douse the bases of all of these plants. And I'll drop in some footage of me spraying this one. I'm not sure. show just how many squash bugs. This plant must have had like 20 squash bugs in the bottom. They were just everywhere in this one. Um, but what the soap does is it coats their exoskeletons and plugs the holes that they breathe through, thereby causing them to think that they are drowning they're underwater which you've seen squash bugs react to this if you've ever watered the base of your plant heavily and watch the squash bugs run away they almost always climb up the stalks of the plants to higher ground and a lot of people will recommend that that's a, a way for you to control them is to just spray them 
or just water the plant heavily and then pick them all out of there. Well, I was doing that to these plants and I just couldn't stay on top of them because there was just too many. Oh, that one didn't get enough soap. It's still moving. See, but I mean, that's the normal method that people recommend right there is to just pull them off. Well, that works if you can find them all, but what if they don't all show up? So, spray them with soap. It causes them to suffocate. They will die. You do it a couple days in a row and you'll get any stragglers like that one that I just found. And then your last issue that you're going to have to keep an eye on and try to deal with is these eggs. Now if there's not too many of them, you can just cut off the leaf where they are. I've also seen people claim that they can use duct tape and peel those off of there. I've never been able to make that work. I generally just wait for them to hatch and then spray them again. And as long as they don't make it to that adult stage that you see down there, dead at the bottom of the plant, as long as they don't make it to that stage, then you don't have to worry about any more squash bug issues. So anyway, there you go. That's all you need. A little soap, little water, put it in a pump sprayer, soak the bottom of those plants just really, really heavy. They'll come crawling out of places you didn't even know they could be. And you will have way less squash bug problems and prevent that from becoming a problem in your garden. That's all for this one, guys. Thanks for watching. This is Zach reminding you to get outside and get growing because life's better when it's lived outdoors. We'll see you next time.